As we celebrate our 125th anniversary, what began at Lutheran Home in 1893 has grown to a ministry of six communities located in three states. Combined, we have provided 356 years of compassionate care across our campuses. When residents, through no fault of their own, exhaust their financial resources, they remain in our communities. Without anyone knowing, each receives the same loving care. No history of the Lutheran home can begin without the story of 26 cents. In the late 1880s, Pastor August Reinke of Bethlehem Lutheran Church preached an impassioned sermon about the desperate situation many elderly faced when they were no longer able to care for themselves. Two days later, an envelope appeared on his desk. It read, For the Altenheim Building Fund. In it, Reverend Reinke found 26 cents. Word spread, gifts increased, and like-minded congregations bound themselves together. In 1892, a ministry was born. In August of that year, four acres of land near Arlington Heights Railway Station was secured. Seniors at that time, especially those without family, often lived in destitute conditions. The newly formed board of directors determined that the Altenheim instead would be built of brick, heated by its own boiler, providing steam heat, and that it would be lit with gas throughout. The home would also boast hot and cold running water, which the neighboring 1,700 residents of Arlington Heights did not have when the home was built. The first shovel of earth was turned on October 6, 1892, and in August of 1893, the first resident moved into the home. Following its 10th anniversary, the Altenheim built an addition to accommodate a growing waiting list, which also included a sick room and a reception room. By the end of the Second World War, the Altenheim had become too small to fulfill the growing need for its services. Congregations, the Women's Auxiliary, and grateful family members rallied to raise the funds that were needed to build a brand new home. Designed to accommodate 128 residents, the Lutheran home was dedicated on its new 800 West Oakland Street site on October 11, 1953. The adjoining 75 acres were purchased and are now home to Luther Village, which opened in 1991. Shortly after Luther Village's opening, the Lutheran home expanded, adding assisted living residences named Hearthstone and in a bold innovation for its time, a child care center and preschool named Shepherd's Flock. In addition to being a tremendous benefit to staff with young children, it forever changed the energy level and intergenerational experience found on the campus. In addition, the faithful friends of the Lutheran home contributed to build the beautiful St. John's Chapel, which we enjoy today. While all of that was occurring, a Lutheran senior living community in Crown Point, Indiana, heard of the successful reputation of the Lutheran home in Arlington Heights and inquired to see if there was a possibility of joining efforts. In 2000, after prayerful consideration on both sides, what is now known as Wittenberg Village joined Lutheran home to become Lutheran Life Communities. In 2016, donors and friends dedicated the beautifully renovated Crown of Life Chapel which was originally built by volunteers called the Laborers of Christ. In 2005, another continuing care retirement community in Ottawa, Illinois, became a part of Lutheran Life Community's family. Ottawa neighbors, who go back a few generations, had known the campus as Pleasant View Luther College until it became Pleasant View Luther Home in 1937. Since becoming a Lutheran Life Community, Pleasant View has added new assisted living, a renovated health care center, and an all-new chapel. In 2006, St. Paul's House became the next campus within Lutheran Life Communities. Founded by St. Paul's Church as a godly home for the aged, St. Paul's House has provided compassionate care since 1921. Built from the ground up, Luther Oaks in Bloomington, Illinois welcomed its first residents in 2007. Now a close-knit community, 
Luther Oaks recently built a skilled and memory care unit to better serve the residents there. Responding to requests from Lutheran congregations for a faith-based retirement community in southwest Florida, the Arlington in Naples, Florida was built and welcomed its first residents in 2016. Not long after its opening, that community was in the path and suffered a direct hit from Hurricane Irma. Needing to shelter in place, what had been a community of 200 swelled to 900 residents, staff and their families, assorted pets, and even some first responders. Power stayed on through generators, three hot meals were served, and remarkably, the community suffered almost no damage. This year, as this organization celebrates 125 years of ministry, Lutheran Life Communities welcomes President and CEO Jesse Jansen. He and the Board of Directors for Lutheran Life Ministries share a unified confidence in the advancement of mission in the years to come. Grateful to all who have gone before, Lutheran Life Communities is committed to continue our proud legacy of empowering vibrant, grace-filled living across all generations.